you can kind of see it when they pop down. There's little fingers up there that, that kick the boards off and drops into these, these bins. Stoltz Lumber Company has been logging and producing lumber in the Flathead for 112 years. As one of the last surviving lumber mills in Montana, they opened their doors to the community during manufacturing month to show the people what's behind the product. You know, we, we participate to try to get it out to the, to the community, not only about what we do here, but what we're about as a company and, and talk a little bit about our family, you know, that owns it and how proud we are of being in the Flathead Valley and what we can offer people is jobs. Stoltz is a thriving lumber company with about 120 employees. The sawmill produces around 60 million board feet of lumber per year and continues to upgrade its machinery and technology. So it's just an ongoing process of how to become more efficient. And more efficiency means less cost. And that's the, that's the name of the game. That's how you can be here 112 years. On top of producing lumber, Stoltz uses the waste from the lumber production to produce power for 2,500 homes in the Flathead. Everything that comes in to, the, to this plant site, from a log standpoint, we, we use or is used one way, shape, or form. They do this by burning the wood waste to heat water and create steam. The steam we use to heat our sawmill, the steam we use to dry lumber in our dry kilns, and then the rest of the steam we, we power a generator, and that generator creates electricity that sends it out to the, out to the grid. While the power production is a cool way to recycle wood waste, it's really all about the lumber. We're making a good quality product. We have stress grade lumber, which people love. Um, it, it's growing those relationships and, and extending those hands and helping out and, and trying new things and not being afraid to try new things is why Stoltz is still here. Many more manufacturing month tours are happening through the end of October. You can go to our website to see which tours are left. In Columbia Falls, Kiana Wilson, MTN News.